All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we've got another update to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and honestly, I don't even know anymore. Like, this game is pushing the boundaries and going in places no man has ever been before. These are Neon, the Neon Faction is what they're called right now. Anti-projectile towers. You can see people firing arrows and musket balls. Both archers and musket men are being defeated by the fact that not only do these things block projectiles and keep them from getting hit, they actually reflect those projectiles onto the people that shot them, which kills them. So this is an amazing thing because it's kind of like we have the chariot or rather the sleigh now, and we've got like catapults and cannons and things like that, but this is the first kind of vehicle. It looks like a giant Segway, but if you look very closely, the base of it looks like the same base that the cannons use. But this neon faction is going in ways that it's just impressive. You've got lightsabers, you've got the anti gra or you've got the gravity backpack bomb, and you've got kind of like laser rifles. And now we have this anti-projectile tower. This is awesome. This is really, really cool because it makes you wonder if we're going to see vehicles more in the future being featured. Um, but, I mean, I was asking for a chariot with blades on the side. And then Landfall Games go ahead and does something like this, which is basically bringing some, like, advanced science and some sci-fi type weaponry. We might have freaking aliens in the future. If you look closely, the uh, masks on the anti-projectile towers. It looks like they've got like these robotic helmets kind of looking thing. Or maybe they might be blocked out. That's another thing. They might be hiding the true mask of these units till the update. But even after a massive update that we just got for Totally Aggro Battle Simulator, we now get this, which is like, they just keep updating. They keep planning new stuff. Like the sky's literally the limit in this game and I could not be more happy ladies and gentlemen what other units would you like to see in totally accurate battle simulator leave me a comment below also leave a comment for the custom battles you'd like to see next and let's get into some custom battles ladies and gentlemen december 7th 1941 the forces of imperial japan have attacked pearl harbor in a surprise attack that made america really mad and we lost a lot of really good ships and a lot of good lives in that surprise attack, ladies and gentlemen, this is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, December 7th. And on December 7th, 1941, a day which will live in infamy, this is not what happened. But this is what happened in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Imperial Japan is attacking America. So for America, I figured I'd put a lot of muskmen in the boxers. Because I feel like at the time, that was very much a cultural thing in the United States. Plus, we need some more American units. Now, what we're going to see here is the Pearl Harbor battle. Basically, Japan gets the sneak attack, and they wipe out the Americans. I'm expecting them to. The boxers are getting over. Look at this guy. What's up, dude? Hey. <laughs> oh, no. A samurai master has just gotten through the American lines. Distracting him. Oh, my God. He almost cut him. He got hit in the air. He's flying over here now. This is awesome. I think he knocked out. Did he knock out the Taekwondo man? Or is he still alive? All right. So I was kind of expecting. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm expecting to see. The Bonsai Charge. And this is what happens. Swords to the dick, ladies and gentlemen. People flying in the air. The samurai are coming. Led by their ninjas. And the ninja master here. This is Emperor Hirohito. Back in the background here. He's got magical abilities. He has been preordained by God to attack the United States of America and expand his empire. But what he doesn't know, ladies and gentlemen, is why he did one in Pearl Harbor. If you look at the Japanese tactics in overall strategy, like when they invaded the United States in Pearl Harbor, they kicked ass all across the Pacific. The Dutch, the British, man, I think, like, even, like, lots of people man and the americans like so many areas were taken and basically this happened just an absolute bonsai charge of japanese tactics look at this cannon to a samurai master this is what happens oh shit 
So this is what happens. America lost Pearl Harbor. I mean, the Japanese never invaded and took the Hawaiian Islands. Makes you wonder what would happen. But so, now let's do it in regular time. I just want to see it from above, like kind of how the American lines collapse. Where from? That, that musket fire did pretty good, but the, they don't have the fire rate. And there's just so many. Plus there's Ninja Masters. Oh my god! I was itching my face so my mouse finger wasn't ready for that, but damn did that guy go far. Holy shit, did you see that guy fly off? Man, we haven't watched things in real time. This almost seems like fast forward mode. Look at the super boxer. This is this is the President of the United States at the time. Just getting shurikened up and samurai mastered. Actually, some <laughs> that can't hit the president. Alright. The samurai master or the uh, super boxer is down. We've got three samurai masters. Oh god. We've got a we got the ninja master left. And once he starts throwing shuriken, look, that guy doesn't even have a star. I mean a sword. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the end of World War II and show in a totally accurate battle way what happened to the Japanese as a result of Pearl Harbor. Well, let's just say that the Americans through their production capabilities produce some amazing bombers and tanks which are going to be combined in the form of these sleighs and frames have dropped oh they're taken to the air look at this here's the slow motion we got boxers we even have the president donald trump leading from the front he's about to get slayed right now Oh, are you? Did you get up? <laughs> He's getting knocked down. You need to build a wall. There's Taekwondo men closing in on the Trump. Are we gonna? Are this is the Americans are supposed to win this one, but I may have given way too many units to the Japanese. Hold on. Let's let's reevaluate this. Yeah, the Japanese have a lot of units, so I think what the Americans need is a few Trump clones, because you know what? We we got some superior firepower, and we're gonna put in a super boxer. And that should be enough. Come on, boys, build a wall. This is for America. Remember D-Day. And uh, yeah, World War II, boys. This is this is what World War II in attempt looks like. Oh my God, there's just so many Japanese. Holy shit, walls knocking sleighs everywhere. Oh, Trump battling samurai masters, man. That's a that's a duel right there, a duel and a half. He just keeps building walls. How many musketmen do we have left alive? Not too many. There's actually a lot of Japanese forces still around, but I feel like with our cannons and our trumps, this is what happened. You know, it was a very... It was, the Japanese fought honorably, but at the end, they were defeated by American firepower in a totally accurate way, right? So anyway, this is our attempt at Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. It would be cool. What if you could have, like, airstrikes? Dude, it makes you wonder with the uh, with the new anti-projectile weapons. Oh, this is what happened. Japan has perished. Your armies have disbanded and been defeated. Oh my God! Did you see what that? Dude, that was a glitch. Like people, people go crazy. I feel like they implemented things that every now and then a unit just goes rogue. Because in our last video, we saw a musket man go rogue. And it makes you wonder if they did that on purpose. Because I just saw... I wish I was slow motion. I think one of these guys just turned into a super guy. And he just flew off screen. So once more, we're going to go real time here. And we're going to get a top-down view of the battlefield. Look at that American musket line. I'm, I'm wondering when they're going to collapse. There's just so many samurai in the middle. In those sleighs, I thought they would do better. Remember when chariots were the best unit? Dude, things are flying up into the air one of the reindeer heads like they slowly fall down all right what's happening trumps dude look at these trumps oh that guy trumped himself trump in the trump now we've only got a few musket men left are any of them going to turn rogue makes you wonder no oh here's the super boxer just bowling over these guys he's taking shuriken and musket balls and he doesn't care because this one's for america anyway National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. We've got anti-projectile towers. 
announced by Landfall Games. The next update is going to be amazing. That Neon Faction looks absolutely sick. In the comments below, I'd like to see your suggestions for future custom battles as well as more conversation with descriptions of what unit you'd like to see added to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the two videos a day. I'm also thinking we might start streaming. Who would like to see Totally Accurate Battle Simulator in a stream form? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron, and I will see you in the next video.